All right, we are back on the bridge. So let's see. River Street's just up ahead. Oh, careful. Ooh. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. Well, I go first. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Whoa. Well, here we go. Just go nice and slow. Thanks, Omid. Almost. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh, yeah. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It Jump. means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh 
Gross. Right here. Okay, this is creepy. I don't think there's anyone in here. Hello? Uh, there's a rope. Hmm. Fernand? I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Thanks. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Uh oh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things there. I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons. Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? Yes. Yeah, I know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> have you ever... hurt somebody... you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. 
so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. Whoa, stalker. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? <gasps> no walkie-talkie. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. Well. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. What? Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? Ew. I'm glad too. <gasps> What's in the bag? I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh 
Whoa. He could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. Don't think so. Ooh. Which way out? Through there. Okay. Um. Oh, what was in the bowling bag? Oh my god. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Gross. He took the head of his wife. Okay. Which way out? Through there. Okay, let's go. Out to the hallway. Careful. Let's go. <gasps> what the? <laughs> right. It... it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Yep. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Okay, let's cover ourselves. Uh. Chop. Oh, no. Ooh. You... <laughs> Here you have some uh, intestines to cover yourself. We'll 
get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. Your hits. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. He knows. Okay, he didn't. Don't be dead. Please, no. Ori, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. Oh. They didn't get to you, right? No. Oh, we got away. They're dead for sure. Oh, poor girl. Oh yeah, he looks. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. Oh. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. <laughs> See? Clementine, honey. What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I think there might be a way out over there. It's just chilling. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. Ah! Oh, 
I'll help you. All right. Don't turn now, Lee. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Oh no. Don't turn, Lee. I can't. You have to. Then I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Come on. I can't. You don't have much time. You got to do something fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Oh no. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You are doing good. Okay. There's baseball a baseball bat. bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. What about the other zombie? Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. You can open it. Walker in there is trapped. We'll figure out what to do together. No, oh, Lee. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There's keys. And a gun. You're gonna need both of those. Okay, that's handcuffed. Uh, handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. There's 
keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. Yes, get some, Clem. You're doing really good. Killing them's not easy, but you know what to do. I do. There's keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. Let's handcuff the walker. You have to handcuff the walker. You can kill it easy then. I don't know, me. You can do it. Just be careful. Move around the side and jump away if he gets close. We. You can do it. Good girl. What should I get first? A boat. A boat. So a boat. Just get them both. I'll try. Come on, clam. Careful, though. Yes. No. Oh, you gross. Kill it. You have to kill it. Get him. Get him. Watch out. Oh my god. Oh. I. Bet. The bat, Clem. Get the bat. Grab it. <coughs> Come on, Lee. Yes. <coughs> okay. My turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. No. I don't know if I can. We have to shoot him. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay, Clem. I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can! Find Omid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. That hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also. Oh no.
What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too. Oh no. Poor Lee. That was it. Oh my god. Well, that was the end of this episode. So let's see what all of the players did. So, um, desperation. Did you remove Lee's arm? You and 32% of the players didn't remove his arm. Fallout. Lost temper. You and 54% of the players calmly argued with Kenny. Disarmed. Gave up weapons. You and 70% of the players kept your weapons. Stranger killed Clementine's captor. You and 90% of the players killed the stranger. Goodbye. Stopped Lee from turning. You and 95% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Oh, poor Lee. Well, but it was good for him. He didn't turn. Well, Let's click to continue. Ooh. Kenny, you defended his son in the drugstore. You killed his son, so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Ben. Oh, poor Kenny. Anya, you attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Doc when he needed it. You shot her s she shot herself when she faced with her son's death. Larry, you, you tried to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. Oh, and Lily, you left her on the side of the road. Well, that was a short story. And Omid, you were separated after you crossed the sign. Ben, you defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. You stood up for Ben in Crawford. Ben fell to his death in Savannah Alleyway. Carly, you trusted her with your past. She died when Walkers attacked the drugstore. I remember. I had to choose between Carly or Doug. Uh, Krista. You met her on your worst day thus far. You helped her get into the train. Oh <laughs> yeah, I helped her over Omid. After, after getting separated, you told them to find you. You hid your bite from her. And poor Doug. You were with him when you found your brother. You saved his life at the cost of another. He was shot while trying to protect Ben. And Duck. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You let him be your sidekick solve a mystery. <laughs> yeah. You shot him before he could turn. Only for Kenny. <laughs> Who are they?
Okay. Holy cockamole! Oh my goodness. Okay then, well... That was season one of The Walking Dead. So only Clementine survived from our original group. I don't know if Chris and Omid made it. Maybe those were the people on the on the grass field, but who knows? So wow, that was such a roller coaster. But that was the end of The Walking Dead season one. I really hope you enjoyed this series and Yes, I am going to see you back on season 2 and we are going to see what Clementine is up to. I hope you like this series and I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye!